Corey, Kahari, and Keon Franklin. Welcome to DBL. Y'all Instagram me, and I just could not wait to speak with you um, about this powerful comic that you guys created in response to George Floyd's death. And I wanted to ask you straight up, first of all, how old are each of you? So I'm 18, yeah. I'm 16, I'm 15. Okay, are his experiences and like his something you guys and your friends talk about regularly and have you talked about police brutality with black men and women since you were young? Yes. Since we were young, we talked about it with our mom, but not really our friends. And now do you feel like that's the doors opened a little bit more because of this? Yes, yes. we talk about it like every day and how like our fears you know, concerning wow. this. So tell me about the caption and, and what you hope y young black children take away from this. How did you come up with that caption? What did it mean to you? And also tell me, what medium do you guys use to create the actual um, comic? The caption came from the idea that a young black child would see the murder of George Floyd. And he wrote it. Yes, and his response would be, mommy, will they kill me too? It's to bring up a conversation about the uh, impact uh, experiences like this could have on black uh, children and how the conversation is moving forward with them and their parents how will they go will they be uncomfortable like how will the parent feel about talking to this uh, talking about this to their child at a young age we all saw that video of that black child hiding from police when he was playing basketball in his um, in his driveway. Was that sort of what you were taught to do? It, it, I read about your mom taught you to be complicit and very sort of imp calm around police, but did you understand that there were race inequality issues in our culture? At the time, I didn't fully understand inequality with race, but um, I did understand that um, just because I was black that, that I had to... Things um, would be much different. Yeah. Kahari, is it possible to be too young to ever start talking about race issues, especially when it comes to the police? What do you think? I, I don't think it's too young, like no one's ever too young to talk about it, but it's almost in a way sad that we have to have these conversations at younger and younger ages. Yeah. Corey, as the oldest brother, have you had to shield your brothers from any racially charged experiences? I haven't really been in that kind of experience yet, but the thought comes uh, across in my mind a lot and I'm very afraid, uh, like I'm really afraid that my brothers and I could be in this scenario and I fear like what, how, if I do something, like what's going to happen? Will it cause me and my, my, my brothers and I to get hurt mm. or like, yeah. That's a lot of responsibility on you, young man, and you're doing an amazing job. Where can people find this comic? Okay, so the name of our company is Koharion nice. and it's a fusion of all of our names and we can find it, you can find the comic on our social media platforms. I gotta say, Corey, Kahari, and Keon, thank you for writing me. Thank you for your creativity. Thanks for your bravery. Everyone, you. check them out. Again, so nice meeting y'all.